Hello, and welcome to this instructional video from AirVest Reliability Instruments. The subject of this video is setting lines of resolution and maximum frequency in Digivibe MX software. Lines of resolution determine the frequency range represented by each individual peak in a fast 4AA transformation or FFT spectrum. The individual peaks in a lower resolution FFT will encompass more frequencies than peaks in a higher resolution FFT. At low resolution, it is possible for two components very close in frequency to become consumed by a single FFT peak. Therefore, complex machines with many operating components may require increased resolution to clearly differentiate between individual component failures. Otherwise, it is entirely possible that two closely operating components similar in frequency might be consumed by a single peak. Components like bearings and gears, which can produce sideband frequencies related to increasing wear, may also require increased resolution to clearly identify the sidebands. As we can see in this example FFT, we have two predominant peaks, one here and one here. This FFT spectrum covers a frequency range of 516,797 CPM. It contains a possible 32,768 points of resolution, meaning that each individual peak, as we see here, covers a range of 20.19 cycles per minute. At the current resolution of 20.19 CPM per point, we may not be able to differentiate between certain components on the machine. If we're concerned about that, what we can do is increase the resolution. If we have higher speed components that may produce frequencies beyond the current frequency range of 516,797 CPM, we can increase the maximum frequency. That is done on the setup menu under the config option. Config opens the preferences window and on the preferences window we have a signal tab. On the signal tab are the recording parameters where we can set our sample rate, our recording time, the intervals, and the style of interface we're using with Digivibe MX. Sample rate is currently set at 11,025 samples per second. We are currently set for a three second recording time. If we want to change the number of resolution points that we have, or the frequency range represented by each point, we can adjust the samples rate or the recording time. The only method to increase the FFT's max frequency is to increase the sample rate. As we see here, currently with 11,025 samples per second, we have a maximum frequency range of 4,306.640625 hertz within our frequency range, or 330,750 cycles per minute. If we increase our sample rate, basically doubling it to 22,050, we can see that the maximum frequency range of our FFT is now 8,613.2850 or 661,500 CPM. 
on the highest setting of sample rate, 44,100 samples per second. Our frequency range now increases to 17,226.5625 hertz or 1,323,000 cycles per minute. And that would be the maximum frequency range detectable on this FFT collection at three seconds. Now, if we want to increase the number of points of resolution, as we see, we haven't really changed that yet. We are still at 0.336 hertz per point and 20.19 cycles per minute represented by each point. If we double the recording time from three seconds to six, we now have only 0.168 hertz represented in each point or 10 cycles per minute represented by each point. If we double the recording time again to 12 seconds, we've again doubled the number of possible resolution points now to 262,144 with 0 0.084 hertz represented by each point or five cycles per minute of frequency represented by each point. And every time we double it with the recordings time now at 24 seconds, we double the number of potential resolution points and we cut the number of cycles per minute or hertz represented by each point in half. So if we went as far as setting the recording time to 48 seconds, doubling it yet again, we now have just over one cycle per minute represented by each spectral line in the FFT and a 0 0.021 hertz range depicted by each point in our FFT spectrum. So as you can see, increasing the resolution does increase the collection time. So it is a bit of a trade-off. More detailed data takes longer to collect. So there is a decision that data collectors and data analysts have to make about how they want to take data and how long they want to take data. Typically, general data collection is done at low resolution because it takes less time. So an individual may go out and take a first round of data on many pieces of equipment in far less time at low resolution. And then if anything is detected in the lower resolution reading that suggests a potential problem, they may go out and take a second data collection on that specific piece of equipment that will take longer, but will give a higher resolution FFT for further analysis. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that it has made the process of setting lines of resolution and maximum frequency a bit easier for you with Digivibe software.